Now I'm going to jump into and discuss a little bit about shaders and stuttering and all that kind of stuff. And some games are more of a problem than others and a couple of reasons for that. And how long actually has this stuttering been a problem? And before I jump into this video, you can throw me a thanks. It is completely free and do everything that's up here. Like, share, subscribe, of course, hit the notification bell and comment. So what is a shader? Well, a shader is a tiny little program that runs on your graphics card, your GPU. Its job mainly is to determine how something shows up on the screen, how it should look. For example, it calculates the color, the light, and as well the shadows for each pixel and decides the position of an object's vertices. So it's very, very important. Shaders allow for real-time visual effects in video games, but not only that, also movies and other graphics applications. It is also important to know what an API is or application programming interface, and they are basically sets of rules. It allows two software components to communicate with each other. APIs act as a bridge. A graphics API, for example, lets a program on a CPU send instructions to the GPU. So you have your shader and you have the bridge, which is an API. So if that was a little confusing, maybe the analogy of a bridge will make it a little bit clearer as I referenced before. So let's just say you have two pieces of land separated by water and you build a bridge across it and now well, you can reach the other side. And that's how important APIs are to shaders and vice versa. APIs actually provide the framework and shaders fill that framework with specific instructions. So without an API, you can't tell the GPU what to do with the shader code. So that was very important to kind of understand before going forward, because once you know that, you can then kind of understand, you know, why you have issues when it comes to shaders and stuttering and all the rest of it. And probably why stuttering five plus years ago, while it was a thing, it wasn't as big as a thing as it is today, because older APIs actually handled compilation. The drivers actually did this. Old graphics APIs, for example, using DirectX 11, gave the driver, the driver itself, control over the shader compilation. And the driver did this all in the background. And yes, there was stuttering from games, you know, five plus years ago, but it wasn't as bad. So you had simple shaders and very, very low impact. The compilation time was very short and it didn't really cause that much of a noticeable lag. There might have been some, but it's, you know, very small. So the older games, many of them used, for example, DirectX 11. That was a different API than DirectX 12, which is used on a lot of the new modern games. This modern API, including Vulkan as well, well, it's very complex. These complex shaders have much more advanced lighting and other effects. Vulkan as well, same thing. And keep this in mind, it's no longer on the driver's side now. It's actually handed over to developers. And the developer is now responsible for compiling shaders. That's why some games will load, preload, the shaders, and it could take five plus minutes for the game to do it. But it is a good thing to wait for it to compile. And generally speaking, you only have to do it once unless you update your video card driver. And don't do that. If the game is working for you, there's no need to because you could run into more problems. And while there isn't any major breakthroughs when it comes to reducing or eliminating stuttering altogether, you know, it's something that we have for now at least to deal with. Remember, these games now have some incredible, amazing effects. And when you're running around, especially in open world games, it is incredible. And to be honest, and to be fair, I mean, I don't really care too much about like a millisecond from time to time of stuttering. It's the major ones 
where you're trying to maybe, you know, in the middle of a boss fight or something and it all messes up and you just, you know, it screws up the whole game. Well, I hope this video has shed some light on shaders and APIs and how stuttering has changed from, well, five plus years ago, at least from the DirectX 11 to DirectX 12 and kind of why it's more of a problem now than before. But like I mentioned, for me, you know, a millisecond or even a second from time to time, if I get some stuttering, it's not the end of the world. But what are your thoughts?